Vegetarian, of course, is this lightly set Rampandano cream in here. So very, very lightly set cream, which will be infused with the cheese. That will just be out of room temperature for you to serve. And then what we've got is some little black olive parmiers here, calamata olives, dust, just rolled in between the puff pastry. In the oven with these, literally just one to two minutes, no more. Whilst we're doing that, let's give our dressing a little stir. This is a tomato water dressing with rapeseed oil and shallots. So nice amount of that over our Isle of Wight tomatoes. Seasoning as well, good bit of seasoning. Don't be scared of the mold and salt. Give that a good stir. And what we'll do, start building our tomatoes. Some of these are dehydrated, some of them are fresh. Again, different levels of flavor. So we'll start getting those all the way around our dish. There we go, excuse that motorbike in the background. And I wanna get loads of them on here because obviously when you dip in, you've got that Parmesan cream underneath. So, like so, some of the dressing on the top. There we go. Then, let's get that onto my board. Here we go, look at these. Lovely selection of flowers, herbs, absolutely beautiful. Let's grab my little olive crooks out of the oven. There we go. Onto my board, careful of that hot tray. Like me, make sure you have a little cloth just on your side, which you can keep grabbing when needed. So, see, I'm just gonna put those. Look at how delicate this is. Beautiful already. Get those all little resting in, in there. Like so. Then I'm just gonna finish it off with a nice selection of flowers. Remember when we did this dish a few weeks back, but then it was a tomato chow mushy, like a set custard with miso. So we've taken that idea forward for this dish. Little bits of tarragon, more flowers. Remember, you eat with your eyes, of course, so this is a real opportunity to sell it to your guests, even before they've tasted it. So a few more, don't want to overdo it. A couple of those little corn flowers, just to finish. Vibrant blue, absolutely lovely. And there we go. Onto our plate. I'm sure you'll agree. Looks like a painting, doesn't it? This is my set. Grand Pandano cream, olive white tomatoes, and little black olive crudes. Onto our vegetarian main course, we've got a lovely gnocchi dish coming up for you. I'm just gonna show you the gnocchi before I bake it inside. Uh, we've got nice wild mushroom gnocchi, uh, sauteed wild mushrooms and field mushrooms in there as well, a little bit of butter, grated truffle and parmesan. Put the lid on, just loosely, and that wants to be baked for about 12 to 14 minutes in the oven. And then we've got our mushroom cigarettes here. This is foie de brick pastry that they're wrapped in about eight to 10 minutes or until they're crispy, that's, that's the best sign of it. So we're gonna get this in now, all cooking, spinach puree ready for when we come back, all heated up, and your mushroom dressing, which is gonna be room temperature. I'm gonna get that in, I'm gonna see you in 10 minutes. I'll heat that bowl, all ready for my gnocchi. I've got my spinach puree there. Look at that, lovely and silky smooth spinach puree. Back of a spoon. See how just kind of spin the bowl around. And just get a lovely round base. And what to put on knocky. So you see I'll spend a bit of time doing that. There we go. Then let's go to our knocky, all baked now. I'm gonna start by getting some of these nice little mushrooms out. King Shimiji there. Hook some of those out, there we go and just sit them onto the puree nice and carefully. Then start going with some of your gnocchi. Nice generous portion of those for you. A little bit of grated truffle smell coming off of this. It is delicious. So keep on plating them all the way around. All ones jumped in there. And then finish off, you see I've got some mushrooms in the base. Got a selection of oysters in there. Plenty of grated truffle. Make sure you can see 
some spinach puree through. Pickle mushroom dressing up next. Drain it off a little bit just to get some of those nice little flavour bombs on the top. A little bit of a dressing just around. And all that leaves is to finish off a mushroom cigarette. So just before you go to the table, I'm just going to put just on the side, like so. How about that? Seriously flavorous and vegetarian course, wild mushroom gnocchi. So this dessert for you is a pressing of nectarine set in a lovely lemon verbena syrup. So I think it's the first dessert we've ever done with nectarine. So yeah, we go first. Just taking my aero out of the freezer. This is white chocolate aero dusted in lemon verbena. Really, really nice. So let's get plating. All we need to do, take your pressing. This has just been out, just coming up to room temperature. Be careful with it, uh, of course, because it will be very, very delicate. You see, I'm just gonna ease that clean film up there. And then let's just put that slightly off center on our plate. Pull the clean film up around it. Look at that. All those layers of nectarine just lightly set. What we're gonna do next, take our lemon verbena mousse. I've just cut the end off my piping bag and I'm gonna pipe a nice little all in one place. Nice little pile of fat lemon verbena mousse. Then some raspberries. Beautiful, fat, chunky raspberries. Look at them, lovely. We'll get all those on the plate, like so. And all that's left, your verbena. Make sure it stays in the freezer till last second. Then you get that lovely little crunch from the white chocolate. Balance it, good bit on there. And I am very, very happy with that. So that is pressing and nectarines, fresh raspberries, verbena mousse, white chocolate arrow. Hope you enjoy it.